Hi, my name is Solo P1, and today I'm going to be talking about the 2018 F1 Singapore Grand Prix race. And all I can say is it's over. In my opinion, the season's over. Um, there's now a 40 points gap. Um, Vettel at the end, he looked dejected, he looked down, he looked defeated, and he's, in my book, he's defeated. There's no way now, in my opinion, that Vettel's going to come back. The only way he's going to be able to come back now, if he wins every single race from now to the end of the season, I think there's about six races left, he has to win every single race to the end of the season, and Hamilton has to come second that's what's going to have to happen for Sebastian Vettel, for Sebastian Vettel to win the championship now. Um, it's not looking good. If the next one, we're in Russia in two weeks' time. And if Hamilton comes out swinging there and he gets a good um, a good qualifying and he wins that race, if he does, basically, mathematically, I think the race is, um, the championship is over. Um, but in my book now, I think it's over. The commentators know it. I know it. Probably most of you guys know it, um, even if you're not um, Hamilton fans. And I know he's got a lot of haters out there, um, but he's also got a lot of fans as well. So um, to his fans and his haters, um, it's not looking good um, for Sebastian Vettel. He's obviously now, it's, it's looking now that Hamilton is going to win the 2018 um, championship. And he's going to become a five-time world champion, equaling... Fagio's record and he's two more away from that great record that sits there straight at the top. Maybe some of the titles he won he shouldn't have won. Um, there was um, a lot of controversy around um, Michael Schumacher. There's a lot of races, there's a lot of championship maybe um, he shouldn't have won. But he's up there anyway. He's a seven-time world champion and Lewis Hamilton is closing in on that record. And the other record that he's closing in on is... The race record, I think the race record, um, race wins is 91. Lewis Hamilton is now, I think it's 70 um, race wins now, or 69 or 70. And if he wins a couple more this year, he'll be on um, 60, he'll be on 73, 74. And plus he's got a couple of years left on his contract, plus an extension. So it's a matter of time before he breaks that record as well. So Lewis Hamilton is, is on the way there. He's on the way to greatness. He's up there with um, Ayrton Senna and Schumacher, them three up there together now. And it's looking like um, it's the, um, the season is, well, it's not looking like it is. Sebastian Vettel's season is coming to an uh, end. Again, reliability, um, not with the car this time, it's with Sebastian Vettel. Um, just couldn't pull the trigger. He got back into second place. They fucked up in the pit lane. Um, I don't know why they're pitting him so early. That was that was uh, that was baffling to me. Um, he was on. Um, he, he came into the pits well too early. Um, um, Mercedes played Ferrari again. Um, they kept um, Hamilton out in front, doing the basic speed, not burning the tires out. Um, they were going the radio. The Ferrari and um, the, um, the team on the radio says um, Hamilton can't go any faster. Vettel replied. Um, I don't believe him. I don't believe. I, I believe that Hamilton can go faster. That's basically what was going on between the um, Vettel and his team. So they were kind of like back and forward together on the radio, which is not good. Um, so, yeah, um, they played him. Basically, um, Vettel pitted too early. Come back out, thought he was going to undercut Hamilton. As soon as Sebastian Vettel darted into the pits, Hamilton put the, put, pulled the trigger. Hammer time. He'd done the fastest lap. Came into the pits, come back out, and he was out in front of Vettel. And I think it was Ocon, what was in, it was in between them. So that kind of helped him out as well. Um, he, and he, he, he went on to the super soft tyres, which for me, for me it was a mistake. He should have went on. He should have went on to the soft tyres, and he would have had he would have had more race speed towards the end. He went on to the super soft tyres. They're going to do about twenty odd laps before they start degrading, and, which, and that's what happened. Um, again, he lost position to Max Verstappen as well. Uh, Max Verstappen pitted in, put the soft tyres on, came out in front of Vettel, just, which I'll, I'll talk about later. But yeah, um, again, 
He seems like um, the Ferrari team, are, or there's no harmony in the team. Um, Hamilton said the balance is perfect in the team. Everybody trusts each other. And that's what you need if you want to win a championship. All right, you can be a good driver and have the speed, but there has to be harmony in the team. And and there's no harmony in the team now. Um, it's in Ferrari. It seems like, um, you know, I heard that Ferrari, um, there was rumours that Ferrari wasn't happy what's going on um, with this situation. Look, Sebastian Vettel's been with Ferrari over five years and he still hasn't won a championship. They're, okay, they never had the car a few years ago. Last last year they had the car to win the championship. They never. This year they've they've, they've got the fastest car and it's, and it, and it looks like it fell away. Um, and it looks like it's gonna be it's gonna go to Hamilton. I think it's gonna go to Hamilton. Um, if you guys think that Hamilton's won the um, world championship now, put your comments in, um, below. Um, I'll go through. I'll, I'll put a few notes down. Um, you know, I'll see how it goes, you know. Let's have a look at the standings, the official standings, which I've got here on my notes. We have Lewis Hamilton, the winner. Second, Max Verstappen. Third, Sebastian Vettel. Fourth, uh, Valtteri Bottas. Five, Kimi Raikkonen. Sixth, Daniel Ricciardo. Seventh, Fernando Alonso. Eighth, to me, I'll, I'll speak about Alonso in a minute. Um, eighth, Carlos Sainz. Ninth, Charles Leclerc. Nico Hockenberg in tenth. Eleventh, Marcus Ericsson. 12th, Stuff Vandor, 13th, Pierre Gasly, 14th, Lance Stroll, 15th, Roman Grosjean, 16th, Sergio Perez, 17th, Brendan Hartley, and 20th, Kevin Magnussen, 19th, Sorokin, and uh, DNF, which was Esteban Ocon. Um, he was forced off by his own partner, his own teammates. Um, which I'll talk about now. I'll go through my notes, see what I got on here, see what I put. Yeah, here we go. So we started off at lap, lap one. Lights out and away we go, as you hear every week from Crafty. Great commentator is Crafty. Um, he's, he, he, he's, he took the mantle off it. Off, um, I forgot his name. I forgot his name. Before, I forgot his name. But anyway, he took the, he took the uh, mantle off him. Um, he's, ran, he's ran with it. He's a brilliant commentary commentator. I respect that guy so much. Um, um, crafty, it makes me want to watch F1 every day. I know that's not possible because I'm a busy man, everybody's busy with going to work and getting with our lives. But you know what? That guy, he should have a podcast. Um, if, if you're listening, Crafty, get a podcast because I'll, I'll be your first, first subscriber. Um, you've got the perfect voice for a commentary and you've got the perfect voice for podcasting. Um, so yeah, started off. Lights, lights out of the way we go. Um, lap one, straight away, first sector crash. Akan was put out by his own teammate, Perez. And it looked like it was on the same part as it was last week. No, last year. 2017 Singapore, um, Akan was taken out by his teammate, um, Perez, in the same sector. Exactly the same, I'm sure. Exactly the same. So basically, I thought all that was dead and buried between them two. I thought it was all getting on. I know last year they had a lot of problems, Perez and Akan getting on with each other. There was a few races. There was one in Belgium. There was another one in, obviously, in Singapore. And I think there was one at Silverstone. They weren't getting on. They was always crashing into each other. And I remember last year, the team uh, manager said to them, if you carry on, I'm going to get rid of both of you. They made it up. They started doing little stuff together. They started doing stuff with Sky. They looked they looked like they was getting on. Everything was sweet. You know what I mean? I thought, no, that's never going to happen again. And again, it, it happened. And boy, uh, and to be fair, I am, I ain't no um, I ain't no expert. I'm not... Um, I don't work for the FIA. Obviously, I'm just a podcaster, YouTuber. Um, but it, in my opinion, it looked like Perez um, deliberately done it. Because when it was coming around the first sector, Perez... Came out wide, so he had enough room to carry on. He didn't need to hit Akon, and he just he just nudged Akon, and Akon went straight into the barrier, just took him out of the race straight away. He didn't even do a lap. He took him out straight away. So to be fair, I think that Perez done it deliberately. Um, the jury's still out on that one. Um, that was talking about it on the TV. You had Anthony was questioning questioning it um, on his Sky pad. He was thinking that's a bit, you know, me. It's a bit suspect. Um, he doesn't really want to make a decision on that. So obviously he was thinking it was done it on purpose. So he's, he can't really come out and say other legal reasons about getting sued. You don't know what's going to happen. You got to be careful what you say on TV these days, obviously, because there's always someone someone who wants to sue you. 
But anyway, I'll come on, so. Safety car, come out. Um, but during the sa- soon, soon as that incident um, incident happened, what stuck in my ass is when the first straight it come down, I can got taken out, and straight away there should have been a safety car deployed. But they waited at least ten seconds until Vettel got the slipstream on um, on um, for Staffan, and then when he passed for Staffan, right, he passed for Staffan on the um, on the Boulevard Alpha Boulevard. Um, then they deployed the safety car, which I thought was a bit late. They should have deployed that straight away. It was at the first incident. Um, it, it, there was no... Um, it was in a perfect position. Everybody could see the FIA was on the first straight. And, and, and then they waited at least 10 seconds to deploy the safety car, which I thought was a bit weird. And um, yeah. And um, anyway, he passed Max Verstappen. Um, he, tried, he was gaining on Hamilton. But Hamilton obviously had the speed that, not, that day. But it carried on, saved the car, come out for about four or five laps. And then the saved the car went. And then um, Lewis Hamilton shot off. Um, Vettel, Vettel couldn't get nowhere near um, um, Lewis Hamilton. Um, Lewis Hamilton was about three or four seconds ahead of him. And then it was seven seconds. Then it was eight seconds. And it was just, it was, Vettel couldn't get nowhere near Lewis Hamilton. And yeah, and then that's what happened. And basically, lap 15, lap 15, this is where, in my opinion, this is where it all started to go wrong for um, Ferrari. Bad team orders. This is how it happened, in my opinion. If you watched it, you'd understand what I'm talking about. Basically, you had Lewis Hamilton. He, was, um, he wasn't really pushing the car. He wasn't getting the fastest laps. He was just doing enough just to stay ahead of Sebastian Vettel. The team orders came on the mic, the radio. They said to Sebastian Vettel, Lewis Hamilton can't go any faster coming in pit. Vettel says, I don't believe it. Basically, we're saying he knows that Hamilton still got more. But no, they, um, they, the, the uh, engineer said, come in. Um, they know best, come in and pit. So what happened? Sebastian Vettel pitted. And then he put on the super soft tyres because he wanted to do the undercut. So obviously, when he comes out the pit lane, when the time Hamilton comes back round again, He'll have enough speed to get out the pit lane and stay ahead with the super soft tyres. But soon as Vettel pitted, what happened? Hammer time. Guy come on the radio. He's gone in the pit. Lewis hit it. Lewis come out. He started doing his fast laps. He was coming up fastest lap, fastest lap, fastest lap. He'd done one fastest lap. And then as soon as he'd done the fast lap, he pitted. And then when he come out the pit lane, he was in front of Sebastian Vettel. So the Ferrari trying to undercut Lewis Hamilton, it failed. Basically, Mercedes outwitted Ferrari, and that's how it boils down to. Um, and and another thing, what the where they made the mistake is they shouldn't have put the super soft tires on because obviously with the super soft tires, yeah, they only can do about twenty laps, then they start then they start wearing away, and the soft tires obviously can go on longer. So really, in the long run. The soft tyres would have been a better tyre, but no, they put on the suit. They put on the soft tyres because I thought, yeah, we could probably catch Hamilton. And he still couldn't catch Hamilton. He still couldn't catch Hamilton. He was on the super soft tyres. Hamilton was on the soft tyres for the um, for the longevity. And what happened? He still couldn't catch him. So what happened? Max Verstappen pitted. He put the soft tyres on. He came out the pit lane in front of Sebastian Vettel. So the undercut worked for Red Bull. And I was happy. I was so happy for Max Verstappen um, this year. He's had a bit of bad luck. Um, obviously, he's the guy for the future, um, along with um, Charles Leclerc. And you've got George Russell coming through as well. And you've got Lando Norris for McLaren. These are the future, dri- future drivers. And I like to see the young kids coming through and they're starting to come through now. You're going to start seeing it more next season. But back to the incident. The, it worked for Red Bull, the undercut, and um, Sebastian Vettel was... Plumford, and there's no way he was getting out of there. He knew he made a mistake. The race was over then. Then I knew the race was over. The race was over, and I thought, yep, if everything goes all right, there's no safety cars. Lewis Hamilton's got this. And that was it. So basically, onto Bottas. Bottas pitted um, at lap 18. Everything was nice. He put the soft tyres on. He came out. Everything was fine for Bottas. Max Max pitted um, at lap 17, which I just mentioned. Lap 35, Perez hits the rock in. Um, yeah, Perez hits Sorokin and he goes under investigation and in the end he ends up getting a five-time penalty and that's what um, Perez got. So basically, 
It was one of them. So into the pit drive, he got he drives through. He gets a drive through penalty. Grosjean, Grosjean gets a five second time penalty because basically Grosjean was um he was at the back per usual, and Lewis Hamilton they had the there was no blue lights. Um, usually when the race leaders come uh, the over the overlap the drivers who are obviously at the back they have the blue lights and then that enables the other driver to move over and then Lewis Hamilton whoever's the leader can just drive straight through the blue light never come um Lewis Hamilton was trying for about a, a couple of laps to lap the the guys at the back and Grosjean was having a, a, a mini battle with Sergio Sorokin they're at the back you got the leaders trying to come through and they're having a little mini battle there was only a few inches between them they could have hit Hamilton but obviously Hamilton being a driver he's he waited but ha as he was waiting Mac Verstappen was gaining on Hamilton and he, he could have passed him you know it was I think it was a lap I think it was lap lap 37 38 and he could have passed Hamilton that's because the stupid idiot Sergio Sorokin and um um, what's his name again? Um, Grosjean was having a mini battle, and, and he couldn't get past the. That really just should have put the blue lights on, but they never. Um, so basically, um, Hamilton got past that. So did um, Max Verstappen. Max Verstappen nearly passed um Lewis Hamilton, but he never. Then Lewis Hamilton was on his way, started um kicking on. Then it became three seconds between him. Then four, five, seven, and that was it. Um, and then it was all it was plain sailing from there. Um, and that was it. Uh, Lewis Hamilton got the checkered flag. He won. Um, he's now 40 points between Lewis Hamilton and Sebastian Vettel. And in my opinion, like I told you at the um, beginning of the review, in my opinion, the race is over. I mean, the championship's over. So now I'm going to have a look on here and see what we've got here. Um, see if we've got any audio. Um, nothing, nothing going on. There's no audio. So that's it, really. We can look at the teams. Um, yeah, and I think that the win, obviously, and now because of the um, the um, the win, um, the Mercedes have extend extended their extended their drivers' construction as well. So. You know, they've extended it. So it's game over, basically, now. It's over. In my opinion, I know it's not mathematically over, but in my opinion, it is. Driver of the day was um, Max Verstappen. I would have gave it to Alonso. Alonso finished seventh. He was near the back. And in the end, with that car, he's got uh, McLaren. He finished seventh. So in my opinion, I, I would have gave it to, um, you know, I would have gave it to Max. I mean, I would have gave it to Alonso, but they never, the guys, um, they voted for Max Verstappen. Um, and that's it. So Mercedes are on top 452 points in the construction. So they're extending it. Um, Ferrari, 415. And then um, Red Bull in third, 274. And then you got Renault in fourth, 91. And then you got Haas in 76. Then you got McLaren in 58. And you got Force India in seventh with 32 and then you got scuba toro russo 30 and then you got um saba ferrari saba ferrari um 21 and then you got williams at the bottom with seventh. so that's how it's looking at the moment and that's how it goes it's um basically season's kind of drawing to an end now i think we've got about five six races left yeah, five, six races left, and that's it, really. You got, look, you got Lewis Hamilton, 281 points, and you got Sebastian Vettel with 241 points, which is a 40-point gap. I know I'm saying it repeatedly, but 40 points is a lot. This time last year, I think there was only about 17, 18 points between them after the Singapore Grand Prix. Um, yeah, so you got second place, Kimi Raikkonen. Fourth, yeah, Kimi Raikkonen and Sebastian Vettel third. Now, Kimi Raikkonen third, he's got 174. And you got Val Valtteri Bottas with 171. And that's like a couple of points between them, three points. So that's kind of a mini battle there to see who can get third place. 
Fifth place, you got Matt Verstappen, 148. And then you got sixth place, Daniel Ricciardo with um, 126. And then you got seventh place, Nico Hockenberg with 53. And then you got eighth, Fernando Alonso with 50. And then you got ninth, Kevin Magnussen with 49. And you got tenth, Sergio Perez with 46. You got Esteban Ockham with 45. And then you got Carlos Sainz um, with Reynolds with 38. And then you've got Pierre Gasly for Toro Rosso for 28. You've got Roman Grosjean, 27. And you've got Charles Leclerc, 15. Then you've got Stoffer Van Door, 8th, with 8 points. And you've got Lance Stroll, Williams, 6. And then you've got Marcus Ericsson, um, 6. And then you've got Brendan Hartley with 2. And then you've got Sergio Sorokin at the bottom with 1 point. And that's how it goes. Um... What can, you, what can you say, you know, um, it's all, in my opinion, yeah, I'll show you some, um, I'll play some audio from the race. It's lights out, and away we go. Even start from the front two. Sebastian Vettel, though, challenging Max Verstappen. They get very close this time. They don't touch. Verstappen audio. just makes first corner ahead of Sebastian Vettel. They're looking up behind as they all thread their way through the first three corners. Verstappen ahead of Sebastian Vettel into the wall. Goes Esteban Ocon. Did he make contact with his teammate Sergio Perez? They were right close together again. The two force Indians, and we have another first lap accident as Vettel and Verstappen down raffles. Boulevard go wheel to wheel. Sebastian Vettel ahead of Max Verstappen and just squeezes ahead of the Dutchman into turn seven. We have a safety car now deployed. Hamilton, Vettel, Verstappen, the top three. Right, just ahead of Esteban Ocon, Sergio Perez, his teammate. You've got Grosjean on the left-hand side. Now they're going to wheel to wheel, the two full cities, and yes, they did touch. It's Baku from last year all over again, and it's Ocon who is squeezed into the wall by his teammate. Ferrari are triggering what they call the undercut this here. Well Stopping early. before the guy in front, getting a fresh set uh, of tyres, going like the clappers on those fresh set of tyres, and he's put the ultra-soft tyres on, with maybe Ferrari thinking they can go to the end of the race. Verstappen does pit. Kimi Raikkonen carries on. He leads the race. Daniel Ricciardo is second. It's soft compound tyres going on to the Red Bull of Max Verstappen. Will Vettel be ahead of Verstappen? It's worked. It's worked. Surely. It's he... such a slow pit out. What are they going to meet in the middle at turn two? And we've seen this come badly wrong in the past with Hulkenberg and wow. Massa. This time nice around, driving. the drivers avoid each other. See, and Max Verstappen by, um, retakes the place of Sebastian Vettel. Yes! 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 Struggling for the match, guys. Oh, big lockup for oh, Pierre uh... Gasly there. And that's going to cost him a little bit. And Charles Leclerc is right on his tail now and almost shoving him around the corners as they go over the Anderson Bridge. This is where Massa got past Senna a few years ago. This time, Leclerc does the old switcheroo and a very, very nice exit indeed as he makes his way onto the Esplanade, puts Charles Leclerc ahead of Pierre Gasly, who's really struggling now. Sergio Perez finally finds a way past Sergei Sorokin. It's not going to be easy. Oh, They're still going through this. I thought he'd found a way. Oh. oh, no! They've managed to crash. Perez was moving over to the left-hand side, and he's got severe damage to his force India. Yeah. Hulkenberg goes yeah. past. Puncture Pierre on the left reckless. rear tyre. And Perez today. had got past. Sorokin fought him back again. Forgot to Perez mention, he damaged to the his left, um, wing Into the well. Williams, and that Perez. is his race pretty much run as well. Well, compounding a very disappointing night indeed no good, for the man. Force India team. Blatantly, not, blatantly is getting not closer. So that gap was three and a half seconds. It's now down to 1.5 seconds. The, um, the track. And Verstappen is. is going to be able to clear Gasly down this straight as Grosjean goes for a move on Sorokin. Sorokin locks up. Grosjean has to go wide. Hamilton will now try and lap both of them, but he's having to back off because they're having a scrap ahead of them. That's Grosjean what I'm talking does about. get ahead. And no blue Sorokin, light. Hamilton backed off for Stafford really. is now but a few metres behind the Mercedes. Having and these mini back battle, markers they should be really moving over and never. As Max Verstappen tried to spot a little gap there. Max and go for trying it. Hamilton manages to lap Sorokin. Verstappen's just going to have to wait. Now he gets past the Williams. And it really is game on with the top two. It was double dangerous for Hamilton there because if you've got two drivers fighting like crazy, sometimes they just don't notice you there.
Yeah, watch what the f are they doing? Yeah, watch them out. They are racing. Roman Grosjean has been given a five second time penalty for ignoring blue flags. Sergei Sorokin, second driver to receive a time penalty in this race. And this is why Sorokin got the penalty. Hartley under braking, thought he'd done the job, but Sorokin's trying to fight him back. No, I don't think Sorokin yeah, should have got anything for there. Let's see what he does from this angle. He just forgot to turn the steering wheel, didn't he? He lapped up when he fault. There was no damage it's going to the be car. A fourth Singapore Grand Prix victory for Lewis Hamilton. He said that this place was hotter than hell. Well, I think his lap last night in qualifying and his 61 laps tonight have been heaven sent for Lewis Hamilton, who extends his lead in the Drivers' Championship and wins the Singapore Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton is now 40 points clear of Sebastian Vettel. Max Verstappen keeps up Red Bull's record of taking a post. So that's it then. That's how it finished. I've gave you the standings um, in the table. So Hamilton, you got Mercedes on top in the construction. Hamilton, 40 points clear in the Drivers' Championship. It's looking like Lewis Hamilton's now. Um, I can't see a way back for Vettel now. Not really. That's just my opinion. But I'm signing out now. I hope you enjoyed the review of the 2018. 2018 F1 Singapore race day review. Don't forget to subscribe. My channels are there on the side, solo double underscore P1 on Instagram and the rest you can see Twitter, solo P1, YouTube, solo underscore P1 and Twitch, solo P1. And like I said before, like I said yesterday after my video, I've got some unboxings coming up very, very soon. I've got FIFA 2019 unboxing i've got the wwe game woo edition for the ps4 and the xbox one yesterday i said ps3 i don't know why i said that but it's for the xbox one and ps4 wwe 2k19 woo edition it comes with rick flair's um it's like a replica of rick flair's um hall of fame ring a piece of his attire everything there's all little goodies i got the ultimate edition and i've got battlefield 5 when that comes out, obviously, when it gets released, Battlefield 5 Ultimate Edition, I'll be doing an unboxing of that, Xbox One and PS4. And what else have I got? Yeah, I've also got the Assassin's Creed. I reserved that as well. I put um, a reservation on that as well. Assassin's Creed, it comes with a Medusa um, statue, which I'll be doing an unboxing of that as well. And to round it off, the one I've been waiting for, I've reserved them both, the DD1 and DD2 Fanatic. Direct drive wheels, I'll be, I pre-ordered them and they will be coming in early December and I will be doing an unboxing and uploading it to YouTube and Twitch as well. Thank you for listening. This is Solo P1. I'll see you in two weeks, Russia. Yeah, Russia. This is Solo P1 signing out. 2018 F1 Singapore race day. See you later, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.